Hey Leo, it's your girl, the Unorthodox Counselor. Thank you for checking into the channel. We're going to go ahead and get in a read for you. I hope you guys are doing well. Take only the messages that resonate, leave what doesn't, and we're going to go right on ahead and we're going to get into it, all right? You could be focusing a lot on your stability, you know, your community, okay? You could be focusing on just, you know, making sure that you and your family straight and being abundant in whatever way, shape, or form that looks like for you. But there's something that you need to surrender to. And there's multiple possibilities that you are able to achieve of whatever it is that your heart desires. Um, there's definitely a lot of new opportunities, especially in love coming through, okay? You may um, meet somebody, and this is going to help you create some type of stability. This person is someone that you will be able to have fun with, somebody that um, will, will bring you that unconditional love and affection and attention, okay? There may be some obstacles that may come in the way. Somebody could be focusing on healing right now. This could be you, okay? Someone is extremely motivated. So let's see. It's a lot going on with y'all, Leo. All right, now, let me find out. Car energy, car energy, car energy for Leo. Yeah, Leo, you could be focusing on definitely trying to have more fun in your life. You could probably be a busybody. Don't get to have, really get to do too much because you always working and stuff. But there's some type of some type of journey you about to go on, okay? And within this journey, there's going to be some type of enlightenment that you're about to receive, all right? You could have a 15-year-old or a 27-year-old. You could also be born on the 15th of the month or the 27th of a month, all right? Because, yeah, I'm going to keep them two together like that. Because they came out and that wasn't, I really wanted one, but they gave me two. So I take it. Yeah, you're about to receive some type of enlightenment. Some type of, something about to come in the mail. Or it could be an email or actual letter. It could be something that's going to happen in a dream. Um, you're about to receive some type of enlightenment on some type of situation or some type of journey that you should be focusing on going into, okay? But God is asking you to surrender, okay, love? You need to surrender, Leo, all right? Water is very significant for you. You could be 39, okay? You could have a 12-year-old be born on the 12th of a month. But this water is significant. You could have recently went swimming. You could have a pool in your backyard, okay? Or this could just be you just sitting your ass in the tub. But water is significant. And this, and maybe possibly, Leo, you sitting by some water, whether it's the lake, the ocean, the beach. Hell, sometimes you would just got to get to the, you know, we like if you're in the city and you don't really have access to that type of stuff, you know what I'm saying, unless you're really going on vacation, you might have to go in the bathroom and take a bath, or you might have to just go sit in the bathroom and just turn on the, the shower water or the sink faucet and just sit there and meditate and collect your thoughts. But whatever, however, and whatever you do, this is going to bring you some type of enlightenment about a journey that you need to be focused on. And this enlightenment is going to help you become abundant, okay? It's going to help you have the financial and the emotional and the spiritual security that you crave. Yeah, because, see, you going through a metamorphosis. This is important. And it was really in the reverse, but I'm going to switch it and turn it upright. As it, because it, it almost feels like with it being in a re reverse, as if like you're really not trying to go through the change. But I don't really believe that. I believe that you are trying to figure out what you need to do. Yeah, right now, you know, you're a very fun person. You know, you could definitely. Possibly be the life of the party when you are around your family and friends, okay? And you probably want to focus on having more more fun in your life because you probably work a lot, okay? But you being that, that fun person, that loving person is a, definitely a major strength for you, all right? Um, you 
you could be focusing on love right now, that could also be something that you could be focusing on. You know, you could be wanting to settle down in a connection. You could be um, in love with someone and you need to tell them that. Or, you know, you could be wanting to go on a, a journey in a new direction and a whole new relationship with somebody. And this is why you need to go have some time alone and meditate and process what's going on with you because there's definitely a major change that you have to go through this is why you're getting this enlightenment you could also be getting some type of enlightenment on somebody that you love there could be a friend that you have that you could just be like damn i actually really like love this person or it could just be like you know what it's just time for me to just do my own thing you know it's time for me to break free from things that don't serve me and focus on loving myself more as well. You know, this doesn't have to necessarily be uh, intimate. It could be about self-love as well. It's time to just focus on, you know, pouring into you. But there's definitely about to be a tower moment in your life. You're about to receive more communication. You could be finding feathers, but you need to have patience right now, Leo. Because there is, and take caution, because let me tell you something, there's some major obstacles you about to hit. So you need to be careful. This is important for you. This is very important that you pay attention to the signs. Let me see something. You could have even given somebody a red balloon during valentine's day or for someone's birthday or just to tell them that you love them and care for them you could have just easily went out brought flowers um, a card candy with the balloon you know what i'm saying you could have recently seen a butterfly like i said you could have just recently been on vacation been by water you know what i'm saying you could like to do puzzles and mazes and stuff you could have recently mailed out some stuff Leo, Kernji. Kernji. Yeah, you focusing on your generosity right now. That was in the reverse, but I'm going to actually put it up right because I'm not feeling that I need to do any reversals in this reading. But it came out with lack of generosity, as if, like, you're not being as generous as you really should, Leo. But only you know if you're not being as generous as you should be, okay? Or maybe you want to start being more generous. Maybe this is something that you're about to get some type of enlightenment on. Maybe you was in a connection with somebody who was extremely generous. You know what I'm saying? And this is somebody that you end up falling in love with and you want to maybe have a conversation with. Um, there's definitely some consequences going on. Now, this is what I will say, Leo. I did this reading about four times. This is my fourth time doing this reading and consequences came out each and every time. So this is what I'm getting with that. That's letting me know that consequences is heavy right now in your life right now. Whether those consequences are is good, bad, ugly, or indifferent, you're experiencing some type of consequences currently in this very moment. As I am speaking, you are experiencing some type of consequences in your life, good, bad, ugly, or indifferent, okay? And maybe that generosity or lack of generosity is causing consequences for you. Either you're were extremely generous, got some negative consequences. Maybe you lack generosity, got some negative consequences. Maybe you was generous and you getting good consequences. But there's some type of consequences happening in your life right now. I'm going to put tarot on it for you, okay? Let's see in a minute. Let me see. And your areas of improvement is to focus on, on sacrifice. Leo, you have to sacrifice something is there's something that you need to give up leo because you have to go through this metamorphosis 
You have to go through this change that God wants you to go through. So God is telling you, you have to sacrifice something. If you don't voluntarily give up the sacrifice, it will be taken from you. The sacrifice, because God's going to get his way regardless. It's just that you'll suffer more hurt and pain in the midst of this give, giving up the sacrifice and going through the metamorphosis. So it's like, listen, if you do the, if you do what God telling you to do, let's say you want to just deal with like, you know, five different types of hardships. If you don't do what he tell you to do and he got to go ahead and snatch it from you, you're going to deal with like 70, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Crazy ass hardships. And you like, damn, I don't want to go through all that. You could take this little couple. I'm going to give up what you need me to do. Okay. But this is serious. On a serious note, all jokes aside, you have to sacrifice something to go through this metamorphosis. And that's the truth. Yeah, and you're being guided on this change. God is guiding you. The angels and the ancestors is guiding you on this change. This is why you're going to, they're trying to get you in the energy of being able to have more fun, being able to be with the people that you truly love and care about, not feeling stuck, stagnant, and at a stalemate somewhere where you don't want to be or doing things you don't want to do. So this is why God is out here like, listen, sacrifice whatever it is that you need to sacrifice and it's looking like you need to, there's something that is in your world that you're like in the center. It almost looks like a family, like you're in the center, you know what I'm saying? And it's like you have to remove yourself. There's something wrong there. You can't make this stuff up. Y'all see these cards coming out. You cannot make this stuff up. There's something where you're like, Either somebody is in the middle, there's either a woman that you feel or a man that is the, the middle of the universe for you. Like, they are everything to you. And this person is a, is a, you have to sacrifice this. Or you are this person's universe, but they're not your universe. And you need to remove yourself from this, this dynamic. I, there, Either way, somebody has to get removed. Somebody feels like somebody is the, their whole universe. And this this could also be where you... This could also be a relationship in where... Somebody can have, could have triggered you, your heart space. You know what I'm saying? They could have triggered your heart chakra. Could have really opened you up and make you feel like, damn, I'm really ready to change my life from the way I used to think and act and that that is no longer serving me. I met people with, I have met people that can help me grow and that's what I need to deal with. All right, I'm back, I'm sorry. Ah, shit, damn. I had to let the dog out. All right, so. Yeah, you. it's almost like you're ready to make some type of vow, some type of commitment. Let me find out, Leo. I swear to God, I'm about to call all my Leos that I know on my phone. Y'all asking, who are y'all about to settle down with? What's going on with y'all? I'm about to go. Yeah, I'm calling all my people up today. I got to see what's good. Yeah, you need to have patience. You need to have patience right now. Because, listen, when you have patience... For what's going on and letting God and the universe work with you and you co-creating and working with them. When I tell you this person, whoever you in love with, this person is like music to your soul. They are like, like their love is just musical to you. Like it just runs through your veins. I don't, who the fuck is y'all meeting? Who y'all dealing with? Mm. Oh my God, I got a quad. You know what? Let me, child, let me hurry. I got to hurry up this read messing with y'all, Leo. Because real talk, I got about six people on my phone. I got to make a quick call to and check on them. Like, look, I ain't even upload yet. What's going on? Um, Yeah, let me jump into. Yeah, let me jump into the tarot on this. Because child, I can't. I can't. Y'all popping. But I'm happy for you, though. Like, you know, everybody deserves to have unconditional love and support. The thing is this, though. You have to be willing to 
change whatever needs to get changed. A lot of times we just get stuck in ways because we're used to being a certain way and operating and doing this, that, and the third, but it really is detrimental to us. It's just time to move on. This is crazy. Oh my God. We got, somebody could be born on the 30th of the month. Somebody could be born on the 27th of the month. We got out here, we got, somebody could be 40. We got, oh my God, we got a lot of shit. Yeah, we got 27 out here twice. Angel number 27, 27. Yeah, so 27 talking heavy. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Somebody tired of fighting. They ready to let it go. They ready to they ready to let all the fighting go because they tired of feeling left out in the cold. Okay. They tired of feeling alone. Abandoned. They want to feel they want to they want this family and feel loved and cared for and secure within this connection. Current energy for Leo. Current energy for Leo. Current energy for Leo. Somebody is out here. Somebody out here strategizing how they could get the hell up out of Dodge. Bottom of the deck. Seven of Swords. Somebody is plotting and planning. They, they trying to figure it out. Somebody wants to heal from this broken heart so bad. Somebody has had a broken heart and they want to heal from this so bad. It's coming out like this, but I'm going to actually take it. I'm going to actually take it in the reverse. I'm going to keep it a buck. I'm going to keep I'm going to keep it in reverse. Somebody really needs to get out of their head and start focusing on healing. Healing is big right now. Yeah, because somebody want to be celebrating, but there's no celebrations going on. That's the energy right now. Somebody want to be a family with somebody. They want to celebrate. They want to do things. They want to build with this person. Wow. But you know what? Communication is coming in. Things is moving fast. You about to find out something because when, because we got out here, remember, and earlier in the read, we already got some type of enlightenment about to pop off. And now we got the eight of wands. So that's even a strong emphasis that we got. We got some type of information about to come out. You could be getting ready to express something to somebody or they could be getting ready to express something to you. But this is going to create some type of balance, some type of balance for you. It's going to balance out something. You're trying to balance your your emotions right now and, and tame and and tame your passion and desires. You're trying to really learn how to balance those things because sometimes you could be hot headed and temper. You are a fire sign. You know, Aries Leon Sag be off the chain. So, you know, that's just what it is naturally. <laughs> it's okay. But there's definitely some um type of change some type of consequences the will is moving because bottom of the deck you got the will somebody can't seem to speak their truth about something somebody is struggling about speaking their truth about an equal give and take opportunity and generosity somebody cannot seem to go into a new direction so this is why god is saying leo that you need to sacrifice you need to give up something because you have to go through this metamorphosis. So you're holding on to something that doesn't serve you, that's causing you to be blocked. And if you don't go through this change, just under, well, put it like this. God always get his way. Like I said before, you're either going to do it voluntarily or involuntarily because God will take it by force and get it done. But somebody is already moving in a new direction you could be trying to, you're trying to gather up all the strength to move in a new direction. You're just like, you know what? I know there's something I have to do. I have to do this. I have to. And it's, I just don't know how to do it or what to do or how is people going to view me? Let me tell you something. Stop worrying about what, how people view you because motherfuckers out here don't give a fuck about you, me. Or anybody else out here. People, they 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 really don't. Don't worry about other people like that. Focus on yourself. 
Because as you focus on yourself, that's where all that abundance and that balance is going to come out. Nobody cares. Don't worry about what people got to say. Focus on what you need to do for you and yours. Yeah, it's like lacking strength to even go in a new direction. This is crazy. And this is crazy. Like, you're not, you can't really get no good rest off of this. Like, there's there's no real happiness if you're not putting, if you're not willing to do this sacrifice. So whatever you may be stuck in, you'll, you will remain there if you don't make this move. What's this? Um, and your card is out here. For you to be Leo to strength, and your card is out here twice. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you work, listen, you working hard. You working hard at trying to build something. You working hard at trying to figure out what direction to go in. You, you just, or maybe get everything in order with your kids, your, you know, your family or whatever, for so that you can say, all right, I got everybody straight, so I'm going to go in this new direction. So you're just trying to make sure that you got everybody taken care of for in case any backlash. Well, look, look what I said. We got the magician out here. So you already, you already out here creating and working and plotting and planning, putting shit together for your next big move. Because you could feel it. You know it. You hearing it. You dreaming it. You feeling it. The angels are guiding you for this change. You cannot make this up. They came out together and I really needed one card, but they came out together. And you got angelic guidance would change. You can't make this up. Yeah. Somebody is somebody stuck and can't get out. This is Leo, if you you out here feeling completely stuck in something, listen, babe, you can get out. I'm telling you, you can get out. God telling you, you can get out. Stop worrying about what is going on. Why? You know what? Why are they? Lord, have me follow God, Holy Spirit. Why is Leo feeling like they can't leave? Feel like they world is stuck. Feel like they may not have victory and success so if you if you know in your heart you could feel it you could smell it you could taste it you dreaming it that you got to go in a new direction because there's something that god wants you to do you know that this is going to bring you true pure love and happiness and joy but you stuck on whatever you stuck on and don't want to um go through this change and transition so you're not even trusting god even with all the signs and the synchronicity that he's giving you. So, I'm telling you right now. I'm telling you right now. God is a loving kind. And he's very patient. But you know we get time limits though too, right? Like you just feel, you just know. You just know. What's this world card in reverse? Yeah, somebody completely stuck, stuck on the past mentally with their childhood, their feelings, emotions, um, how their life was growing up, what, what, what their relationships were like growing up with their parents, what somebody relationship, what they was taught growing up when it concerns love, family. Somebody's missing somebody and, and holding on hard to this memory. Somebody could be scared to break away also from certain types of tradition that's going on. There's a lot. We got Queen of Swords out here. So there could be a Queen of Swords right now that's in your energy, Leo. Could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Don't have to be. Or this could even just be you really in your Queen of Swords energy. Just trying to be balanced, trying to be logical in every area. 
trying to process everything that's going on and how you, yeah, this is why you're trying to take a pause and take a step back because you know that you're going to have to leave some people behind. You're going to leave about eight people behind in your life for this new journey. Because it's looking like you going towards this, this queen of cups. This person could be somebody who's very extremely loving. Loving, giving, compassionate, uh, intuitive. Very intact with their emotions. So there's something. Let me see what else, Leo. Oh my God, Leo. What y'all got going on? Oh my God. Leo, whatever it is, you could do it. Listen, there's a million people out here in the world. And y'all are feisty anyway, so y'all gonna be all right. Y'all just need, it. whatever it is that God wants you to change, whether it's, I just feel like it might be also just a, a mindset or people you're around. It's a mindset, yeah, it's, yeah. Yeah. You need to focus on having some more compassion in your life. Have some compassion for yourself and others. You're being asked to be kinder to yourself. Give yourself a break, okay? You need to focus on giving more, okay? Earlier in the read, we talked about generosity, okay? Remember I said, I don't know if you being stingy or you being too given, but either way, you need to focus on being more given to others because one of the best feelings we can experience is giving to others. So when we do so, we feel lifted up and our lives improve greatly, okay? So you could be focusing on right now, right now you could be focusing on having more compassion for yourself. If you're not being compassionate to yourself, you need to give yourself some compassion and grace. Focus on being more generous. That's your current energy with that, all right? You need to focus on also receiving, okay? You're being asked to be open to receiving universal gifts. These could come in the form of love, money, compliments, healing, energy, and universal wisdom. Know that you're worthy of these gifts and open up to them. So, perfect example of this would be everything don't have to always be financial and stuff like that. Somebody could give you some great knowledge and wisdom, and that is something that is priceless that you really need to hold in your back pocket. Whether you want to hear it or not, and if, if it's the truth, the truth is the truth. Learn to respect people when they give you the truth. Whether you like them or not, you got to respect truth. You need to learn how to continue to detach from anything that don't serve you. You're being asked to detach from something that you've been holding on to. I told you you need to let go and you got sacrifice out here. So, so letting go is extremely strong for you, Leo. You need to focus on lightening up as well, all right? Because you're about to have a fresh start with a new connection, okay? You need to believe this in your heart. Everything is about to balance out. Let's see what the angels got for you. Carnage for Leo. Carnage for Leo. Carnage for Leo. Leo. Uh-oh. I wasn't ready for that. Yeah, you need the angels is asking you to take a step. You need to let go of any doubts and fears that you have. You need to focus on planning, all right? Um, to make the most of the moment of inspiration and angelic guidance, you need to plan your days so that you can reach the maximum efficiency. You need to focus on self-care for yourself, Leo. All right, that's very important right now coming up. You need to surrender, okay? It's time to surrender. The surrender and letting go is pretty much out here about three times already. Because you're going through a rebirth, Leo. This is good for you, baby. Like, you're gonna, you're really about to tap into your true purpose and who you really are. Mind, body, heart, and soul about to be balanced on one accord. This is extremely big for you. Bottom of the deck, we got healing. This is, this is true healing for you. Whatever it, whatever you're holding on to, 
of any hurt and pain from family, loss, whatever, whatever. It's okay. It's time to move forward. Those losses, that pain, none of that defines you. It doesn't make you lesser of a man or a woman. There's a lot of things we were taught growing up that don't even really even apply to this day where we're at in this world, okay? So think about the changes that need to be made. Pray up. If you need anything, definitely you can always text me, call me, send me a message. Let me know what you need if you need any assistance. But please, I'm big on dealing with what you got to deal with to go through the transition so that you could be your best and higher self. So I hope this message finds you well, Leo. Peace and many blessings.